Hi, my name is Andy White, and today I'd like to demonstrate using the Elasticsearch Logstash and Kibana, also known as ELK stack, to create a security event monitoring dashboard for Ferdrock OpenAM. To start, I have installed OpenAM in an Amazon EC2 instance here, and I have also set up in Kibana our OpenAM security incident event monitoring dashboard. And you can see that we're tracking things like valid logins, logouts, and active accounts attempting to log in, log in locked accounts attempting to log in, etc. Um, no data showing up here yet because we are looking at the last five minutes of data in Elasticsearch and there isn't any there. But for the purposes of this demo, I've uh, put together a script that is going to simulate uh, traffic coming in from around the world into OpenAM. It's going to simulate about a thousand events a minute, which is pretty realistic for what a global type company would actually experience. And in addition, I set up Logstash to forward uh, OpenAM authentication log messages into a central Logstash endpoint where the events are processed. And let me show you what that configuration looks like. This is our configuration file for Logstash, where we determine if uh, the event coming in is an OpenAM auth event. If it is, we parse it out into different fields. We look up the IP address, which is taking the IP address and resolving it to a physical location. And then we are determining if it's a security event that we actually care about or if it's just a normal login, logout event. Um, to do that, we're looking at the message IDs, authentication 200, authentication 201. Um, you can, by looking at the logs, you can kind of determine what a lot of these mean. But I wanted to show you that there is an actual document on the Forge Rock site in the OpenAM reference uh, guide here that log files and messages under log messages they actually detail out um, and there's hundreds and hundreds of different log messages but what they actually all mean which is uh, very helpful when you're doing something like this so let me kick off the script and we should um, pretty quickly start to see some traffic coming into Logstash and then uh, Logs, uh, Elasticsearch and then our, our dashboard so if we go back over here we can see the data flowing through Logstash um, we can see how it's getting parsed out uh, and the uh, IP address resolved to a location and then it being determined whether it's actually a security event. If we go back over to our dashboard here, <coughs> you can see that the data is uh, is flowing in that 224, well, 300 valid logins, you know, 32 invalid credentials, uh, etc. Down below here, we have a bar chart where we're showing by country the breakdown of the different um, event types with login being login or log out being the um, majority of them which is pretty realistic I mean the, the data is scripted but it's I think you know representative of what you'd actually see with the majority of the traffic being good traffic it's the the other ones the other types of events that you would want to monitor in a dashboard like this to try to determine what might be going on and where and you can see that this widget is is pretty nice that Kibana provides really with not a lot of effort at all. You're able to, um, you know, achieve something like this, where you're, you know, you know, you can see how when I hover over the things here, it highlights it and all that. And if you understand your data, to do something like this takes five or ten minutes, which uh, is pretty impressive. You can see we have a map here where, since we're resolving all the IP addresses to physical locations, we're able to plot the stuff and group it, so we can see where there's clusters of events. Um, let's. Uh, and, and you can see it's primarily across North America and Europe it looks like here. Let me zoom in. And we can see that we have got a hotspot in Germany of 63 security events. So in, in Kibana in this widget you can't drill down from here. Um, but what you can do is use the very powerful discover feature of Kibana. So this is all just our raw log data and right now I have it grouped by the login ID which you know, we could we could remove that field and just um, have the raw data itself, but I think it's it's helpful to see it by the login ID. So I'll add it back, especially when we're trying to drill into what's happening. So we could do something like this: just type Germany and uh, locked, for instance, and we can quickly see that these are the events that are coming in that are getting flagged from a, a locked user that are you know, coming in from Germany. So. Pretty, uh, pretty powerful, again, with um, not, not too much effort put into developing something like this. So um, that's it for the demo. 
I uh, hope maybe you got some ideas about different ways you could use the, the ELK stack in monitoring your OpenAM infrastructure. Uh, this, this was a simple thing I put together. I think there are quite a few different things you could do with it.